look at that. One of our audience members with some pretty amazing nails. There's just like everything Seahawk this week. No doubt much of the city will be glued, glued to the tube this Super Bowl Sunday. So here to help us throw a Seattle-centric Seahawks party is Jennifer Shea from Trophy Cupcakes. You do Thank very you. good work. How Thank are you? you? I'm good. Good, good to see you, you again. So what are we doing? So I wanted to throw a really Seattle-centric party. So I basically scoured the city. It's not hard to find, actually, for all of the 12th Man yes. Seattle-centric cool stuff. Stuff. So Joan Soda did this amazing 12th Man Soda. Love the colors. Everybody knows that Hilliards has done their 12th can. Yes. Cucuruza uh, popcorn. Oh they're my calling gosh. this. They're calling this beast corn. Beast corn. Yes. That'll fuel you up. Of course, you need to have your skittles. Your skittles. I have never seen so many skittles in my entire life yes. as I have seen those past <laughs> week. Okay. And uh, I'm a little bit busy this weekend making cupcakes, so yes. I'm ordering uh, fried chicken from my favorite place, Ma Ono. On, oh, my gosh. Uh, that's in West Seattle, and they're doing these fried chicken packages Yum. on Sunday. And then you've got the Top Pot Donuts, and you guys are making, these are the most amazing 12-man cupcakes that you've made. Some with Skittles. You get the little Super Bowl ring. Right. So you've got a treat at the end that you can wear. And the, this is the my favorite. Man. The 12th mm -hmm. Man is just, let me grab a hold of this without squishing it. Isn't that beautiful? Now, Thank that's a you. cupcake. I would say it's too pretty to eat, but that's just not true because I would eat it. Okay, so show us how to make the um, AstroTurf table cover. So this is really easy. I just went to my local, you know, homewares. Just about any, you know, Home Depot Lowe's mm -hmm. has AstroTurf. Buy a piece that you know is going to fit your table. Just cut it to size. Get some white electrical tape, some kind of white tape. Yep. And just Ties, some, you'll love that. Get your husband to do that. Just some stick on numbers, and you can get those again at uh, you know office supply, just about anywhere. Yeah. And just lay it out. It's really That's easy. That's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Super easy. Steel. So that is how I made oh, these. Oh, your pom poms. Okay, great. And so all you need is four sheets of tissue paper mm -hmm. in the appropriate colors, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. And then you are just cutting it in half. I'll show you kind of what it looks like. So fold it in half first, fold it in half. and right. then you're going to get two out of one of these sheets. So then you're cutting it in half, and you've stapled the top. I stapled to keep the it top, folded, and then you're literally just you know takes yeah. a little bit of time, but you're cutting your strips. That's simple. And then I heard that you love glue guns. I you know so. I'm bizarrely <laughs> attached to the glue and gun. so these little sticks are just available at any kind of craft store. Right. And so then you're just going to take your I'm going to let you do it. You okay. can just take your glue gun, mm -hmm. attach it, and then just start just keep spinning rolling it. Oh, so there's a lot of glue and a lot of this is going to be fun. Okay, so I'll work on that. And you have um, your special cupcake over there with the Skittles. I want you to sort of yes. talk us through how that's so, happening. So um, I put out a book recently. So our vanilla cake recipe I is in the book. It. And I think you guys are going to share it. So I'm doing this backwards, it. yeah. I got, got so excited it. about the glue. Don't I burn your fingers. Okay, no problem. So it's just our vanilla cake. And you'll see here that it's layered with green and white and blue. So you're just going to take three bowls mm -hmm. and um, tint one blue, one green. And then when you're filling your cupcake liners, you just do maybe a tablespoon and a half of each color. And then when you bake them, they're layered like that. So it's super oh, simple. So it comes out that way. Yep. You'll no see problem. how you just get the layers. It's now really how do easy. You get your icing to stand up like that. And you have um, the best icing. I, I just can't even you. begin to discuss how good that is. I think that whipping it enough is a is a really big tip. I don't think mm -hmm. enough pe people think that you just mix, mix it, it and then it's done. I think you really need to leave it on the mixer and whip it quite well. Okay. Um, and then just use a pastry tip, make a nice uh, swirl on the top, and then of course you're sprinkling it with Skittles. And of course you are. <laughs> you're sprinkling everything with Skittles. Okay, I think. That wasn't my best job. Let's but see. You just just shake it, it out, yep. and then it'll take oh, out. Oh, that looks much better, right? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Jennifer was kind enough to share her recipe for her Beast Mode Seattle cupcakes. And once again, please just head to our website after the show and click on the Kitchen Monkey section to get it. And an added bonus, I mean, it's a bonanza today. Jennifer brought cupcakes for everybody, so please enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. After the break, as we get into a Seahawks state of mind heading into the Super Bowl, uh, a special musical send-off is next. And he calls the play.